Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah. I'm a full-time fashion reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Welcome to the channel or welcome back if you're a returning viewer. So happy to have you here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I have a what sold ship with me video for you and this is a big one guys. Last night, I want to say it was about 9 p.m. on a Wednesday night. Um, by the way, today's Thursday, February 16th, 2023. Last night about 9 p.m. I sent offers to likers on literally everything in my entire Poshmark closet. I have about a 2,000 item closet and I have over 30 orders to ship out today. The offer to likers that I sent on everything was 30% off with a shipping discount of $5.95 shipping. And man, I'm so excited. So many orders came in. In fact, I just got three more orders come in literally while I was driving over here to the unit. That's that's how much of a success that was. So you might consider sending offers to likers on your whole closet, you know, once or twice a month or something. Uh, but every time I do it, like closet wide, I tend to have really good success with it. Now you can't do it every week or every day for sure, but you know, do it, find a schedule that works for you and it can be a really good way to bring in uh, those sales numbers if you need it. So I'm going to get in there, pull the orders, and I'm actually not going to pull with you just because I'm a little bit short on time and I think that's going to make this video uh, too long. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the orders and then I will meet you in the conference room, show you what sold, for how much, how much I paid for it, and also for how long it was listed. All right, let's go. Cheers. <laughs> everyone hello again uh, I got everything set up so we're ready to ship I'm gonna go through these pretty fast because there's over 30 items that I have to get out and I have got to get home to babysit the children of a friend of mine uh, at 1, 1 p.m. so again it is a Thursday morning or Thursday at noon it is February 16th 2023 I ran a closet wide offer to likers on everything in my entire closet I have a 2,000 item closet on Poshmark and I made over 30 sales and it has only been about, I did it about nine o'clock last night. So we're only like a little over halfway through the 24 hour offer period. So I suspect there will be even more sales coming in between now and 9 p.m. tonight. But so far we've got over 30 items. This is awesome. Now I have four items. Uh, these first four items that I'm gonna show you actually sold yesterday on Wednesday. Um, before that big offer was sent out, but just to let you know, most of these are the results of the big offer I sent out. So I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go, that's much better. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna let you know what's sold. I'm gonna pop pictures up here on the screen. So I'm gonna let you know what's sold, for how much, how much I paid for it, uh, how long it was listed and where it's going. All right, here we go. So the first item that we're shipping is this pair of J. Crew, uh, J. Crew Mercantile Women's Slim Cropped Ruby Pant in Stretch Twill. Uh, they're a solid black size women's four. These sold for $30. And again, all these sold on Poshmark that I'm showing you. Uh, this was picked up for $5, listed on November 26th. So right in my range for what I want as far as turnaround, sold for $30. Let's get it packaged up. All right, and these J. Crew pants are headed to Washington, D.C. Cool. On to the next one. All right, we've got this pair of women's Levi's. So lots of pant sales today. This is a pair of women's Levi's high-waisted tapered jeans in mid stonewash, size 31. Great, uh, there's another sale. Um, great size, sold for $32. Picked these up at the bins, listed on June 17th of last year. So sat quite a bit longer than I would hope, but you know, I paid like $2 for them and then sold for 32. So I'm not upset about that at all. This pair of women's Levi's jeans is headed to Oakland, California. Off it goes. Next, we're gonna ship this men's Adidas Texas A&M black full zip jacket. Sold for $22, it's a size XO. Picked it up at the bins, listed on April 15th of last year. And yeah, so 
pretty lightweight. Probably paid like $1.50 for it because it was the bins. And it's like new. It's got the Texas A&M logo and stuff. I kind of wonder if, you know, since this is college application season and stuff, and lots of seniors in high school are getting accepted this time of year, if this is going to perhaps a new college student or something who's, who's going to be going there. I don't know. All right, Texas A&M is headed to Hanford, California. Or it could be an, an alumnus, right? Off it goes. Next, we've got a Lucky Brand cardigan. It's an open front cardigan, but it also can wrap in the front. I thought it was really cute. Size women's large, it's a dark red. Sold for $16, listed on April 14th of last year. That sat a really long time. Didn't expect it to sit that long. Man, did this have a flaw? Okay, yeah, it had a flaw. It had like just this tiny little separation in the crochet or the open knit here, which really blends in well, but that's probably why it sat a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, sold for $16. This Lucky Brand Cardigan's headed to El Paso, Texas. Off it goes. Next. Next, we're gonna be shipping this Wackel bralette. Wackel is a good bra brand uh, to sell. This sat for unusually long though. This is a Wackel Net Effect bralette in rose dust, so it's like a light pink. Size women's 40. Sold for $13. Listed on March 28th of last year. So you'll notice I'm, I'm, I'm selling a lot of lower numbers. And that means they were listed quite a long time ago, but that was the goal, right? Of sending those big offers to likers. I'm getting rid of a lot of inventory that's older, but I also sold some stuff that's kind of not so old. So it really worked out well all around. Picked it up at the bins, very low cost of goods. I mean, this thing is like, I probably paid a quarter for that. Maybe 50 cents, I don't know. So even making $13, uh, ooh, I'm still fine with it. Glad to clear it out. This bra is headed to Burnsville, Minnesota. Off it goes. Next. Next, we're gonna ship this women's J. Jill Wherever Collection Solid Black Open Front Cardigan. It's a size women's petite large. Sold for $19. Picked it up for $3.48 at a Goodwill. Listed on November 20 something. So right in my range for turnaround. I love to shoot for that three months uh, turnaround time. Um, so yeah, J. Jill, great bread and butter brand for me. And especially their Wherever collection and the Pure Jill line, um, those do better for me than regular J. Jill, unless it's like Love Linen, you know, one of their special lines like that, Love Linen or a wool or cashmere, those, you know, pretty much any brand, I'll pick those up. This J. Jill cardigan is headed to Canton, Georgia. We're gonna be shipping all over the place today, guys. I figure with this many orders, this is so exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you learned something. All right, we're gonna ship this pair of women's Nike Pro Training high rise leggings. They are a solid black and they've got a really cool, like uh, on the, on the calf area, they've got a cool laser cut detailed, size women's medium. They sold for $19 and I picked them up at the bins, listed on January 10th. So barely listed for a month. Really pleased with that sale. All right, these leggings are headed to Buffalo, New York. Off you go. Next, we're gonna ship this pair, I'm starting to sell some shorts now, guys. This is a pair of women's Can Can jeans. Can Can does really good for me. Um, K-A-N-C-A-N, if you've never heard of it. This is a high rise, medium wash uh, short, size women's plus size 20, listed on November 14th. And it so okay, so that's exactly three months sold. And uh, sold for $22, so please with that. I love how Poshmark, you can just use any shipping supplies you want. So I can literally just grab, grab, grab the same mailer 
I don't even have to think about it because it's all priority shipping and you can use any priority shipping supplies that you want to. Even the regional, even the regional boxes, except that they're not selling those anymore, but I still had some left over. So I love the regional rate A and B for um, shoes particularly. So I've still got some of those to use up. This pair of Can Can jeans is going to Anderson, Indiana. Louise, I know exactly where that is. Really, that'll probably be there tomorrow. So not far from me. I'm in Indianapolis, by the way. All right, next we have another Brada ship. This is the brand Glamorize or Glamorese, I'm not sure. And this bra is new without tags, just perfect condition. Thought it would move faster because it's a size 50G, so it's a plus size bra. Sold for $13. It's called the Glamorese Magic Lift Original Support Wire Free Bra, Wire Free Bra in Soft Gray. This was listed on April 6, 2022. And then it sold for $13, picked it up at the bins. There we go. This bra is headed to Whitaker, Michigan. My northern neighbors. Off it goes. And I brought a couple of shipping containers today. I'm gonna put them in this too once that one fills up because I figured I'm not gonna have room. All right, next we're gonna ship this pair of women's Victoria's Secret. Oh, and these were like so soft, I wanted to keep them myself. It was like all I could do to not just keep them myself, but I'm like, no, these are gonna sell. Um, so this is a pair of women's Victoria's Secret purple jogger pajama pants-ish, you know, maybe I, I could be either or, uh, size large, and they are just like ridiculously soft, like kind of like, um, I mean, almost even softer than Lewin Gray's uh, signature soft line. If you guys know about that, I love wearing that stuff. Um, but yeah, sold for $17, listed on November 10th. Great turnaround. Picked them up at the bins. Off they go. These Victoria's Secret Purple Joggers, size large, are headed to Salem, Oregon. Also, if anyone is watching and you ordered from me, thank you so much for your order. Appreciate you. Never know, I never know exactly who's watching and who might have ordered for me, you know, what the crossover is like, so thank you. All right, next sale. Sold this Anthropology Diletta. So Diletta is the brand, but it was it's uh, sold at Anthropology. And I gotta say, I don't pick up Diletta anymore. It just does not move. This dress has been sitting forever. Uh, this is an Anthropology Diletta Janie Drop Waist dress, and it is very spring color, kind of a peachy pink. Sold for thirteen dollars, size women's medium. I had picked it up. Okay, yeah. So this is so old. I didn't even write what I picked it up for in the SKU. <laughs> Uh, but I do have that it was listed on April 18th, but I feel like that may have been a relist. So, so yeah, I feel like I may have picked this up at a regular Goodwill. Obviously, was not a good choice. Uh, but, you know, glad to move it out probably for about what I paid for it. Sold for $13. And then, you know, what I kept was $8.33. So, glad to get that finally moved out. Uh, it is a very spring looking dress and I, you know, maybe someone bought that for Easter or something like that. But in general, Diletta is just not a brand that moves for me well at all. Had a few pieces of it in my closet over the years and just, you know, I think it's cute um, on its on the surface, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't move. So it's not really worth my time to pick it up anymore. So this dress is headed to McDonald, Pennsylvania. Off you go. Next, we're gonna ship, and we got some Lululemon. And I just got a counter offer. I'll respond to that after the video. Um, this is a pair of women's Lululemon Wonder Under Pants in diamond, it's like a, it's like a small diamond print, diamond dots, full. Uh, full length, size women's 12, excellent size. These were just listed on January 30th. Today's February 16th, so just a couple of weeks. And those sold, picked them up for $5 at a regular Goodwill, sold for $35. Let's get them packed up. And I'll show you the print there. It's a really cool, and they were just in perfect condition. 
uh, for an older style of Lululemon, I thought, wow, these have no wear. I was uh, really shocked to see that. These Lululemon are headed to San Diego, California. Off it goes. Next. Next, we're gonna ship another bra. There's a lot of bras going out today, guys, and I think there's at least two or three more after this. This is a Fredericks of Hollywood bra. Um, it's got a tie front bow, and it's kind of sheer, uh, kind of a tan beige color, size 36C, sold for $12. Picked it up at the bins, listed on October 29th. So, and this brand has really surprised me. Fredericks of Hollywood, that's what it's called. It's a lingerie, like, sleepwear brand. And, you know, it doesn't really look like, uh, it's anything special as far as the quality but I think maybe it's just really well known. Um, so I did, you know, it's a consistent mover. It's not a high ASP seller, but it's a good bread and butter brand. So this Fredericks of Hollywood bra is headed to New York, New York. Cool beans, off it goes. And I'm sorry to adjust the a little bit. All right, next we're shipping this uh, women's cabbie top. It is like a stained glass blouse. It's so pretty, perfect. You know, people are starting to buy the spring look and stuff. It's like a beautiful spring floral colors looking blouse. Listed on April 14th. Uh, picked it up at the bins, I believe. It's been listed quite a while. So um, I didn't even write where I picked it up. Size women's medium, sold for $11. Just kind of happy to get that moved out and been sitting. It had been sitting for way too long. It's not like a super substantial piece. Just a really lightweight blouse, but beautiful colors. And this cabbie blouse is headed to Lakeville, Minnesota. Off it goes. Next. Next, we've got a pair of Miss Me jeans. These are a size girls 10. This is a low rise stretch skinny jean with waterfall sequins. And there's a little bit of the sequins there. I uh, found these at the bins. They sold for $17, so a good return listed on July 18th. Surprisingly found a lot of Miss Me jeans at the bins. Uh, and I think it's because the regular Goodwills price them up to like over $20 here now. So nobody wants to pay that. So then they end up at the bins and I get them for $2. This pair of Miss Me jeans is headed to Casadero, California. So many California orders, guys, every time. I'm telling you. Off it goes. Um, guys. Just take a guess what the next brand is. What is the brand I've been telling you guys about that has surprised me? And then I'm like, I pick it up every time I see it and it's like, sells all the time. Catherine's. Um, this was like the only piece of Catherine's I had left in my closet and then now it's gone again. Um, this is a Catherine Super Soft Eyelash Sweater Cardigan, sleeveless. Uh, waterfall, um, you know, drapey, kind of uneven front, size women's plus size 5X. Sold for $20, picked it up at the bins, listed on January 3rd. And this one, let's see, I'm actually gonna put this in a Tyvek since it's bigger. I don't think it's gonna fit in the padded. Catherine's is a really great plus size brand to pick up. It's really popular. And it doesn't, it doesn't ever sit very long in my closet. All right, this cardigan's headed to Big Lake, Minnesota. A lot of Minnesota orders today. And that one's off. All right guys, I feel like we might be almost halfway. <laughs> Can you believe this? What in the world? I'm so thankful. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes. And I'm gonna put those in the regional rate A rectangular box that I've been, that I mentioned a little bit ago. I love this box. This is just the perfect size for shoes now. Um, 
If you don't already own some of these, unfortunately, you cannot order them anymore. They've been, dis they've been discontinued by USPS. But if you have some left, I recommend you use them for shoes because they are a really, really good fit for it. Um, so yeah, sold a pair of shoes. Let me show you what the shoes are. I sold a pair of women's Clarks. They're like a loafer. They've got kind of like a snake skin a little bit, uh, texture to them. Uh, it's called Clarks Bendables Side Zip Loafers. Size women's eight and a half. Sold for $11. Picked them up at the bins listed on March 18th. Let them go for $11 because they've been sitting way too long. Clarks is kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I'll list a pair of Clarks and they're just like really fast and then other times they're not as much so I was kind of surprised about these they're really good size eight and a half but regardless glad to get rid of them they're gonna go into and it's a perfect fit I'm not even gonna put packing paper because they fit so well they're not gonna they're not gonna move around let me keep grabbing that all right these Clarks are headed to Inglewood, California. Or California. I should just like make a map and, oh no, did I just mess up the label? I should just make a map sometime and like put a dot on all the California cities that I've ever shipped to. I bet it'd be funny to see how many because there's just so many California orders. All right. Next, we're gonna ship a pair of women's Columbia Ultimate Catch Roll-Up Pants in Navy. It's like a great hiking pant, size women's 10, sold for $18. Uh, listed on October 25th, picked them up at the bins. Please with it. Start stocking your closets with like fishing and hiking and outdoors wear because that's what people like to do on spring break and moving into summer. They're going out to their lake houses and their cabins and stuff. These pants are headed to San Diego, California. My goodness. Every other order is California. All right, off those go. And I'm going to go and pull these out so I can start putting orders in that blue bag. All right, let's keep going. Next, we've got this BDG. Urban Outfitters cardigan. It's an open front. It's kind of slouchy, size women's medium. Sold for $16. Listed on November 1st and uh, picked up the bins. Pleased with that. Got kind of stripes. Kind of unusual to sell a cardigan in the spring, but you know. We are kind of in that, I guess it's not because we're kind of in that in-between stage of like, it's not super cold, but it's not super warm yet. So people kind of want those layering pieces that they can take on or off, depending on the day. Guess what state, guys? Yep, you're right. Simi Valley, California is where this cardigan is headed. And that one's off. All right, next. Man, this, this thing has been sitting forever. I was about ready to donate it. This is a women's Chico Zenergy Corbin jacket, new with tags. Uh, in lime shirt, size women's medium, sold for $7. This thing, I think it took so long to sell because it's just outdated. It's really old, even though it's new with tags. So um, I think I got this at the bins. Uh, but yeah, listed for sold for $7. I got to keep $2.33. Good riddance, right? I'm just glad to get rid of it. It's actually a really unique color, great for spring. So I'm glad somebody's going to get use out of it. Those little plastic things don't like to move. All right. Uh, this Chico's jacket's headed to Binghamton, New York. Off it goes. Next, we've got this UGG. This is an UGG French Terry women's hooded zip cardigan in pink size large, sold for $28. And it was picked up at the bins, listed on J uh, July 20th. And um, yeah, it's really cute, really soft. Uh, yeah, just kind of a slouchy cardigan, so really pretty color. I like it. I would, I would wear something like that. Pleased with that sale. 
first time I've ever sold Ugg and something other than shoes. But I've got a robe by them listed right now that's uh, getting a lot of attention. This is headed to Indianapolis, Indiana. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana, so this will get there tomorrow. Good. Cool. Off it goes. All right, what's next? Logo Lori Goldstein. This is, uh, I do pretty well with this brand, the larger sizes. This is a women's logo Lori Goldstein multicolored tunic top in purple, size women's XL. Sold for $21. Listed on January 1st of this year, and I picked it up for $5 at a regular Goodwill. It's so pretty. Like, look at that. Look at that, like, multicolored, kind of abstract looking. I like stuff like that. As you can see, my, my shirt, I love abstract, colorful clothing that just really has a fun design. I'm all over that stuff. Uh, okay, this logo, Lord Goldstein tunic top is headed to Milford, Connecticut. Off it goes. All right, I've got to leave in five minutes, so can we get through these last few orders in five minutes? We're going to go fast. <laughs> Here we go. Next, I sold this uh, LeBlanca Island Goddess Bando one-piece swimsuit in pink, new without tag, size women's six, sold for $18, picked it up at the bins, listed on April 6th of last year. The swimsuits off to Hanover, Massachusetts. All right, next we've got another J. Crew item. This is a women's J. Crew gingham plaid top. It's called the Boyfriend Shirt. Sold for $11. Size women's extra small. This thing sat forever. Let's see. Uh, yeah, listed on April 14th of last year. So I'm really glad to uh, get that out of here. It looks, again, very spring looking. It's very lightweight. Kind of like a lightweight cotton. Okay. This J. Crew tops off to Stannardsville, Virginia. Off it goes. Next, we've got a bra. Victoria's Secret, very sexy push up bra in black, size 36D, sold for $16. Picked it up at the bins, listed on July 16th. And because this is a pretty substantial bra and it has an underwire, I'm going to use the cube box to protect it. I like using the cube box a lot for big bras uh, so that they don't get crushed and that wire stays intact and doesn't get broken in, in the shipping process. You never know when something heavy is going to be put on top of it. So this just, so this just really helps protect it. That's what the cube box looks like. And I call it the cube box, but let's see. On the USPS website, it's gonna just be called the seven by seven by six box, or box number four. Yeah, box four is what you wanna look for if you're interested in that. All right, yeah, and see the bra just fits perfectly in there. This bra is headed to Glen Alpine, North Carolina. It feels so good to move so much stuff out, guys. I've got another pile over here because I couldn't fit it all over there. Next, we're shipping this pair of women's Lucky Brand jeans. This is called the Maggie Bloomfield Jeans and Boot Cut, size 12. Sold for $14, picked them up at the Vins, listed on April 19th of last year. Thought those would sell sooner, and I also thought they would sell for more, but hey, still made a profit on them. So I can't complain. These are headed to East Providence, Rhode Island. All right, off it goes. Next, we're shipping this Pink by Victoria's Secret Women's Green Sequin Bling Spell Out Short Sleeve Tee, size large, and it is really blinged out. It's got the pink spell out. Those typically do really good for me because people look for that and it's just like really unique. This got a ton of interest. Thought it would move sooner, but hey, $15, size large. Picked it up for $2 at a regular Goodwill. Listed on October 20 something. Can't quite read it, but yeah. Victoria's Secret Top is headed to Ripley, West Virginia. 
it goes. All right. What do we have next here? We've got a bundle. Um, where did that box go? Oh, I'm not going to put this in a box. I'm going to put this in a tie that. That's right. Okay. So I think it'll fit. So I sold this four item bundle uh, for $50.40 cents is what it sold for it is all athletic wear so it's this adidas tech fit sports bra in black size women's medium uh picked up at the bins listed on march 18th this american eagle cozy warm jogger size women's small listed on october 21st picked up at the bins and this pair of new with tags adidas victory lap running shorts size women's small picked it up the bins listed on june 29th and lastly this pair of women's athleta modern metro shorts in heather gray size mitt size women's medium listed on november 28th picked it up for four dollars at a regular goodwill so really pleased with that bundle most of those were bins pickups so i really made a um, good profit on that sold for fifty dollars and what is it? Fifty dollars and forty cents. So yes, this is something that someone just bundled, and then uh, they were automatically given my thirty percent off discount when they checked out. So, all right. So here's the four items. We got the Adidas shorts, the American Eagle joggers, Athleta, and yeah. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna put all of these in a Tyvek mailer because I think they're flat enough they can fit with it. Might let some of the air open up the corners of. A, these bags just the corner so that they can uh i can squeeze more of the air out as i put them in the tie bag. oh yeah that's a perfect fit perfect and because there's four items in there and these tie bags I just don't like the stick on them i reinforce it with the tape I don't ever use the Tyvex anymore unless I have to because of the size of the item because I hate the sticky on them. It just does not stick well for me. All right, this bundle of four items is headed to Felton, Pennsylvania. Oh, it goes. All right. Next, we've got this new without tags Zella Twist Front Sports Bra. It's a long line bra in blue marlin, is what the color manufacturer said it was. Size women's XXL, sold for $17. Picked it up at the bins, listed on January 9th. So that is great. This bra is headed to Rising Sun, Maryland. Okay, guys, that's all we're shipping right now, but I have three more items to show you that, um, there's their four. Hang on. Uh, yeah, okay, so I've got three more items to just show you real quick. These all sold when I was on my way driving over here to the unit, but I don't have the labels printed, so I'm going to ship them out tomorrow. So let me show the, these to you. Uh, I sold this uh, women's green top it's by slinky brand that's the name of the brand it's called slinky brand and it's kind of like chico's traveler slinky material same kind of material this is an olive green short sleeve top size women's medium sold for nine dollars paid up the bins listed on october 21st and uh i believe it may have had a little bit of staining so that's why it sat for a while but i'm pleased with that and let's see where it's heading i don't again i don't have the labels printed off but i can check real quick Yep, the Slinky Brand Top is headed to Longmeadow, Massachusetts. Now, also, while I was driving over, I sold this pair of women's Levi's jeans. They're called the 315 Shaping Boot Cut Jean, size women's 32-32. Sold for $21. Pick these up at the bins. Levi's has been doing so well for me lately, especially women's. I've been experimenting with a lot of women's Levi's. It's been paying off. I've sold a lot. That's just two pairs today alone. Uh, yeah, sold for $21, picked them up at the bins, listed on November 9th. So, really pleased with that sale. These are headed to South Deerfield, Massachusetts. So, uh, next I had an eBay sale while I was on my way over. Also, um, 
This is an American Eagle crop top. It's a boho floral embroidered crop top with a crisscross back, size women's small. Sold for $10 on eBay. Picked it up at the bins, listed on November 17th. That one's headed to Prairieville, Louisiana. So, all right guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am down to the wire. Uh, I have got to get, uh, get the stuff in my car, get packed up. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today. Hope this was fun and helpful for you. If you liked this content, please hit the thumbs up button to like this video. It helps me out. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this uh, about fashion reselling, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button below so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. Thank you so much for being here. God bless and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. See you very soon.